Question 18. In this diagram, the number in each box is the sum of the two numbers below it. Write in the missing numbers. Well, this mystery box here plus one and a quarter has got to get us up to this box here, two and three quarters. So what number, when you add one and a quarter to it, gets you to two and three quarters? Well, if you take one and a quarter off the two and three quarters, whatever's left will be this mystery box here. So if you take the one quarter off first, that would be two and two quarters. Then take the whole one off, that would be one and two quarters. So in this box here is going to be one and two quarters. Just double check that. One plus another whole one would give you the two. And then two quarters plus one quarter would give you three quarters. So it does indeed work. Remember though, one and two quarters, you could also write as one and a half, because two quarters is the same as a half. So let's change that to one and a half. In this box up here, we've got to do two and three quarters, add three and a half. Now there's a few different ways you could do this. One way could actually be to turn this in, these into decimals. So two and three quarters would be two, and three quarters of decimal is 0.75. And three and a half is three and a half is point five, so three point five. And if you add these two together, you've got two point seven five add three point five. Now remember, if there's a gap here, you can just fill in that gap with a zero before you add it. Let's add these together, see what we get. Five plus zero is five, seven plus five is twelve, put the two in, carry the one, two plus three. 5 plus the 1 carry is 6. So we've got 6.25. Now remember, 6.25 is the same as 6 whole ones, and 0.25 is a quarter. So there are two possible things we could write in here. We could write 6 and a quarter if we're keeping it in the same format as before, and as a fraction. Mixed num that's a mixed number because it's got a whole number part plus a fraction, 6 and a quarter. But they would also accept 6.25 because it doesn't specify in the question whether or not you've got to give your answers as a decimal or as a fraction. So either answer is acceptable because they mean the same thing.